welcome to House of Dance. My name is May, and at, th at this time I am doing a series on uh, small space decorating. So, if you live in one or you're interested in designing and decorating your very, very tiny spaces, subscribe to my channel and watch out for the rest of my videos that is coming. And so, what I wanted to talk to you about today then is curtains. Okay. Now, take note that we are going to talk about tiny spaces. Whatever I'm going to say to you today about curtains is mostly ideal siya for small spaces. Yung curtains actually, alam nyo, nag-start siya uh, yung Egyptian, yung unang nag-start ng paggamit ng curtains mga 3,000 years ago, ano? Um, ginagamit nila yun na parang parang doors nila to insulate themselves against sa mga weather conditions ong araw. So, sila yan yung unang gumamit ng curtains. Na yung curtains nila noon ay gawa sa animal skin. No? Yun na ginagamit. Hindi pa, wala pa kasi yung fabric na na-invento noon. So, animal skin yung ginagamit nila. Um, throughout this video, uh, I will show you some images to clearly illustrate kung ano yung mga recommendations ko to use para sa curtains for the small space and especially for those na mga you know they they live in mga bunk beds in Dubai there's a lot of OFWs uh, they live in what you call bed spaces I have a tip for that later on so watch out because I'm gonna talk talk about it in the uh, later portion of the video um, there's so many talks about curtains, many things to consider about curtains, how to use them, where to use them, anong klase, what style, gano kahaba, again like this. But what I'm gonna tell you today is in curtains, in terms of pag malit yung space, if your space is small, um, ano ba yung best na pwede ko magamit sa mga sa malit kong space, okay? Uh, meaning, yung mga nakatira sa mga na studio, na gusto palakihin yung space nila, o sa mga bunk beds or sharing, um, yung kurtina, no? So, yung, yung, bakit pa natin ginagamit yung kurtina, di ba? There's so many reasons. Uh, for example, number one, cur the curtains, the curtains, they serve to insulate us from the temperature, okay? They serve also to insulate us from the noise. Kasi yung curtain, nag-insulate yan. They, they provide acoustic in the same way as a carpet on the floor. Provides acoustic. Dun sa, sa pag, uh, when you walk on a tile, di ba maingay? It's noisy. But if you have a carpet, you walk on it, you barely hear anything. Kasi, inabsorb niya yung sound. So, in the same way that the curtain, it, it absorbs the, the sound. So, nag-insulate siya. Insulation ng curtain, ano? And then, the other thing that the curtain uh, does for us is that privacy. The third thing that the, uh, that the curtain serves para sa 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 an yung glare. They control the light that that comes into the house, tiba. Let's say if you don't have any curtain at night, all you see is blackness, tiba. So parang and then uh, for protection na rin. I mean, do you want people to see you inside your house at night? Kasi malu because the surrounding is black and yung bahay mo is maliwanag so kitang kita ka sa labas diba? so yun privacy and protection uh, first of all if you live in a if you live in a um, let's say you know, a studio a very tiny tiny space and you really wanted your your space to be spacious and not cramp looking uh, the number one that you have to to understand is that the way that we install the curtain, no, number one, we have to hang it high, okay? So, I will show you a room and how we normally, and how we normally install a, a, a curtain, okay? And so, uh, so what do we see? Uh, so, we, ha we have here a bedroom. And then, uh, what we normally do with the, with the curtain is just we try to uh, install the curtain just a little bit on top of the window frame okay so this is normally what we do so in actuality what it does is it really doesn't help in making the 
uh, the room space shoes and then I will show you later on how we should install it okay so ito nakita niya di ba and then but if we install this higher almost close to the ceiling we can see that the space look higher and larger okay mas malaki so whenever we install a curtain try not to install it you know slightly above the the window uh, molding but make it as close to the ceiling as you possibly can okay now um, I would say na let's say if you do the install mo sa living room mo or sa or sa bedroom mo for example uh, because most of us naman we don't have uh, if you live in a bed space or a sharing wala naman talaga tayong living room where we can put our curtains uh, most likely we are putting curtains sa mga bedrooms natin or sa mga bunk beds natin so pag nakikita natin ito so makikita natin na uh, if we install this on the top makikita natin na uh, how you install on the top sometimes mataas yung ceiling sometimes mababa yung ceiling so ideally if you can install it 4 inches below sa, sa ceiling that would be good diba? and I don't think I don't think sa mga bedroom it's that high kasi normally uh, sa bahay diba uh, yung, yung bedroom medyo mabababa yung mga ceiling niyan eh kasi ang matatas na ceiling yung sa mga living room so yung mga bedroom mababa yung ceiling medyo mababa yung ceiling yan in comparison sa other um, areas so I'm talking about the small spaces so ito so you can get it 4 inches below sa ceiling mo so doon mo i-install yung uh, yung curtain mo okay so pag nakita mo siya na ganyan siya kataas and then mas talagang mukhang spacious ang dating nung nung space okay some more spacious having to install it higher like this and then uh, another thing that i would like to point out is that um the kind of curtain na ilalagay mo especially for mga small spaces at makakatapid tayo ng tela so yung style na usually na mas maganda nating bilhin or pag makita natin yung sinatawag niya parang eyelet okay i will show you bakit and i will show you why so ito ito yun know. so ito yung eyelet type meron siyang grommet ito yung mga grommet so ito if you have the the curtain rod pinapasok lang yun dito sa curtain rod okay sa curtain rod you, you normally buy this uh, ready-made, ano. Uh, so, kasi ito yung magandang style because matipid to sa fabric. Kasi may mga ibang curtain, nagpipleats, pleats, pleats pa yan sa taas. May pagano-gano pa sila, may pagano-ganyan. So, ma ano yun eh, uh, mag-asos sa mga fabric. Maraming, maraming design ng mga curtain headers. Pero, para sa mga small space, maganda itong ganito yung eyelet. Madali siyang install madali siyang tanggalin at uh, hindi siya masyadong hindi siya hindi siya masyadong mahal sa others kasi konti lang fabric na magagamit nito to make this di ba so yeah ito yung bibili nating curtains yung ganito yung style sa taas yan lalagyan natin diyan yung uh, curtain rod okay so if, by the way if you notice ano yung cortina natin yung grommet ito yung grommet di ba so, pag bibili tayo ng curtain rod, yung pinagahang ng curtain, make sure na magkapareho sila ng color. So, if you have a silver curtain uh, grommet here, try to buy a matching silver curtain rod. Okay? Para matching sila. Okay? You see, you see little things, they matter. So, sometimes we see that, oh, when I go to my, fr to my friend's house, I see that her house is so so nice and so so spacious and it's just really very inspiring to be there uh, because we what we don't normally see is that any little thing in your house can affect the whole thing you don't immediately see it but you feel it okay especially colors okay colors they have a lot of effect on us psychologically if you live in a small studio and you want to expand your space do not let the curtain be part of the one that makes your space small. 
hang them high and as close to the ceiling as possible. Next, ano pang dapat natin isipin in terms of the curtain? Ito pa ha, ito talaga. Okay. Curtains, pag maliit ang space mo, do not use, and I repeat, do not use bold fabric, bold colors, bold patterns. Kasi yan ay nakakahilo at nakakadagdag ng stress. It's going to add stress to your brain. So can you imagine you coming from work and you're stressed, living in a small space, and you feel cramped? That's just <laughs> terrible. That's just really terrible, okay? Just nakit mo pa yung curtain mo. No, okay. Anyway, I have nothing against floral curtains or big bold patterns but since we're talking about small spaces <laughs> iban natin muna siya okay so <laughs> do not use uh ito look at this image i think you see this image right over here in in the screen ito uh mga no nos to see it's installed low and then this is the effect ng curtain with very very bold patterns nakita mo yan so di ba pag tinignan mo mal Diba tinignan mo, masakit sa, sa mata? Okay. So, for example, for example, okay, you hang hang your ceiling high. Ay, sorry, you hang your curtain rod high already. And then, naglagay ka ng curtain na ganyan din. Bold din yung color, bold yung fabric, bold yung pattern. Did you see how para ka nanood ng horror film? Hindi si pa tipo when you come home nakita mo ganyan yung kurtina mo ganyan ganyan yung mga bold patterns ng kurtina mo at ang lilit ng bahay mo lalong sumakit ang ulo mo so if you if you insist on, on using this kinds of selecting this kinds of fabric na ganyan ka busy so you better stock up on Panadol kasi parating sasakit ang ulo mo <laughs> makakita ka ng kurtina na ganyan sa bahay mo it's not stressful okay your bedroom should be your zen place and whatever you put there should make your self restful so okay yeah don't don't, don't choose this so so anong color so anong color ang dapat natin gamitin okay so when you want to make it spacious and relaxing kasi bedroom siya try to choose the color ng curtain mo which is close to the color of your wall di ba para medyo nagdi-disappear siya close to the color of your wall or kung gusto mo mag-iba ng konti maybe if you want to go a little bit darker maybe one tone two tone darker lang ng, ng wall mo okay kasi yung idea mo is really pag nasa bedroom ka you just wanted to sort of like make it disappear ngayon sabihin mo uh, may, may, ayoko ng masyadong white kasi parang it looks like a hospital okay so by the way bakit white ang ang theme sa mga hospital because it's restful. Can you imagine kung may mga pasyente ka sa hospital pagkatapos lagay mo ng mga black curtains and all this and all these things. Baka napadali ang buhay ng pasyente, di ba? Masyado siya nasa suffocate visually. Kaya mga puti-puti ang mga hospitals. Okay. So, if you want to have pattern, pumili tayo ng maliit na patterns. No? Maliliit lang yung patterns ng fabric if you want to choose them. And muted Ibig sabihin na muted, hindi siya matingkad, medyo subdued yung color niya. Siguro, yung exact opposite nitong fabric na pinapakita ko sa inyo ng sa cortina ito. So, I will also show you the, yung mga types of fabric na medyo muted. So, makakapag-pattern pal palin tayo para hindi naman siya... Uh, like ho hospital looking if you don't like that feel pero may konting pattern siya kasi remember yung yung aim natin sa sa, pag, sa sa color ng curtains natin is to make ourselves feel restful to be in a place na parang zen okay so so remember ha just use uh, small patterns with muted tones so mommy papakita ko sa kanya or kung nandito na yung yung images ng mga fabrics na as an as an example lang of course you can choose many many fabric designs there uh, out in the world okay so yon pick a vertical pattern maganda rin may vertical yung pattern na pero maliit lang mas okay na yung maliit na mga patterns okay so yan clear ah okay so next Ito, yung, yung, yung third ko is, uh, I, I dedicate ito sa 
dun sa mga nakatira sa mga bunk bed you live in a in a bed space you will have curtains okay ito malaking tulong talaga sa inyo to okay so yung cortina we usually uh, i see that i have a lot of friends who usually would uh, put curtains and they would buy curtains and provide them so that they can have privacy so people uh, who are OFW and they live in dubai iba iba yung schedule nila sa work so sometimes yung iba uh, pag night time they, they sleep already and then sometimes some people are just coming in from work and wanting to chat with their family and so they have the small little lights inside their bunk bed spaces and they will pull the curtain all over them para nakasarado sila but then the problem is sometimes is that yung ilaw talaga nagpifilter out pa so if there's a person living uh, if you have a bed space layout then bed space is across you and then uh, the other person may not be able to sleep with the light filtering to your curtain so what I can recommend for you is that bumili kayo ng block out curtain okay block out Okay, ano yung blackout curtain? Ito yung type ng curtain na ginagamit na parang lining. So, you see, if you go to mga hotels, yung curtains nila, pag hinawi mo na ganun, if you close them, it's totally black. Okay, may lining yon. Ang lining nun, tinatawag blackout curtain. Okay, means to say, pag hinawi mo siya, blackout lahat, wala ka makikita light. Totally, 100% the blackout na yung light. Okay, ginagawa yung lining and um, white and creamy color sa meron nun. okay kasi limited ang color niya kasi lining talaga siya so yun pwede niyong mabili and then saan niya pwedeng mabili yun mabibili niya yun sa mga sa mga curtain shops in a place called Naif uh, here in Dera sa Naif there are a lot of curtain shops there uh, fabric shops that you can go and buy this by the square meter Okay, so pwede mabili niyan. Uh, also, I saw in the website in IKEA, they have uh, blackout curtain curtains there na roughly around uh, ang size I think is I think it's already made with the header. I'm not very sure, but you can check out IKEA Dubai. Uh, mga ang ang measurement is like 2 or 3 meters long and uh, I'm not very sure about the height. But I think it might be uh, long enough for you to use uh, one. If you, so you just check out yung sa IKEA. Um, and it costs around 75 dirhams. Okay. Yung, yung if you go to the fabric shops, hindi rin man mahal yung ano, hindi mahal yung, uh, yung blackout curtain. Sabi nyo lang, pabili po ako, just tell them, I want to buy uh, a one meter or two meter of a blackout curtain. I think I went to Dragon Mart once and I think we bought it for, me and my friend, we bought it for 15 dirhams per, per, square, per square meter, I think. So just to say that it's not expensive, so you can buy this. Pag ito ginamit nyo, it's going to save you a lot because pag hinawi nyo na siya, you cover your bed with it, wala ka ng light that will filter out of your of your bunk bunk bed that can disturb other people and since it also insulates insulation siya may, may purpose din siya pag malamig yung space nyo usually hindi nyo control yung yung ac ng room pag malamig siya nakakatulong din siya pag insulate this is uh, a hack that you have to really go buy this ano um block out curtains hindi siya mahal uh, bilhin niyo yan malaking tulong yan para sa inyo and uh, pag, uh, ano, pag, uh, because the color is a bit limited of this kasi pang lining nga siya so white, yellow, cream ganito. maybe there are others pero pag lining usually it's white diba? so just uh, if you wanna clean it uh, with a damp cloth ganito, don't put it in the washing machine or in the steamer so I think you just have to wash it uh, I don't know, wet cloth into it okay so yun lang aking tips and uh, uh, hacks for you today and uh, I hope that you in enjoyed and I hope that look at Bentley is at the back let's see <laughs> Nagsasarili na naman siya. Anyway, I, I really hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo uh, regarding sa curtain selection nyo. I hope that it will help your 
your space be a little bit better and share to your friends para alam din nila kung how to, to, to use the curtains for their own small spaces. And so uh, try to subscribe and push yung notification bell if hindi pa rin kay subscriber and abangan yung mga videos ko about uh, my design videos because I will have other videos so I hope that you could come along with me because I will teach you uh, and share with you a lot of tips that can make and your space is a little better okay so I will see you again next time and God bless you and enjoy your day Bye.